guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is another one brand tutorial. Today using all Kat Von D products except for three items. Obviously my lashes are not Kat Von D um, and I didn't have a Kat Von D highlighter or blush so I just used other products for that. But everything else on my face is by Kat Von D. Um, and I want to do another one brand tutorial for you guys because you guys have really liked my NYX one that I did, my Tarte one that I did, and the Too Faced one that I did. So I thought I would continue trying to do one brand tutorials. So definitely let me know if you guys enjoy watching these by giving it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comment section down below. I didn't plan this look, um, I just kind of sat down and this is what happened. I was also a little bit inspired by Brooke L on Instagram. I will leave her Instagram link down below for you guys because if you have not looked at her pictures before she is amazing her makeup is so phenomenal um and this is like kind of like her signature cut crease kind of look that she does and i've just become obsessed with how she does her makeup so i don't know it just kind of happened i wasn't planning on doing like a kind of Brookell inspired look but it just kind of happened because she was in the back of my head sort of thing. Also I just wanted to let you guys know if you are new to my channel I do have a first impression video trying out a lot of the Kat Von D products that I'm using in this video today so if you're interested in seeing that I will leave it linked down below but without any further ado we will just get straight into the tutorial. So just starting off by priming my eyelids as per usual. I already have my brows done because I always do them off camera. It just makes it a little bit quicker. I'm just using the Kat Von D Lock It Eyeshadow Primer today. And I'm just applying that straight onto my eyelid and then going in with my finger. That way the warmth from my hand can kind of melt the product into my skin and ensure that it blends out really well. And then I just applied a little bit of concealer into the inner corners just to hide the darkness that I tend to get in there. I then applied some tape to the outer corner of my eye just so when we go in with eyeshadows it leaves a really nice crisp line and makes everything really clean. And then taking the shade and light palette from Kat Von D, I'm just taking the bone white shade from the palette and just using that to set my eyelids. And then I am taking the peachy kind of shade and I'm just buffing that into the crease using the Sigma E40 brush just as our transition colour to start adding a little bit of warmth into the crease and prepare for the other eyeshadows that we're going in with. Then on that same brush, I'm just dipping into this warm light brown shade from that same palette and I'm just buffing this into the crease transition area as well. I like to start off with lighter shadows and then build up to darker ones. I just feel like this helps it blend out a little bit easier. And then I am taking the red toned brown shade from that palette and I'm just buffing this into the crease using my Sigma E25 brush. I'm just kind of placing this in that crease area and then going back in with the Sigma E40, I'm just going to blend that out. And I did go back in a few times just to build up the color and depth of this. Then taking the Kat Von D Serpentina palette, this palette is so beautiful you guys, it's amazing. I just went in with the shade Blood Milk on the Sigma E39 brush and I essentially just buffed that into the front section of my crease and then I used the Sigma E40 just to help blend that out. And as you can see, I did go back in a few times to build up the depth of the colour and continue blending that out. As I mentioned in the start of the video, this was slightly inspired by Brookell. Um, but I didn't have this look planned whatsoever, so that's why the eyeshadow is kind of like all over the place, as you guys will see. I then just took the bone white shade again and just applied this to the brow bone. And then, just to add a little bit of definition to the outer corner of the eye, I took the brown shade that I just showed you guys and placed that on the outer corner and just really buffed that in using that same Sigma E25 brush. And then I did the same with the black. You guys will notice that I use a lot of the same brushes because I'm too lazy to reach for other brushes. Um, and sometimes you just don't really need to, especially when you're doing like a dark look um, and it's kind of smoky. I don't really mind if all the colors kind of mesh together. I'm pretty laid back and chill with my brushes. Then you guys know I love cleaning up a cut crease kind of look using concealer. As I said before, I didn't plan this look. If I did, I would have made sure that I didn't get as much eyeshadow on the lid before going in with concealer. But because it wasn't planned, I didn't really think about it too much and it doesn't really matter in the end it turns out the same anyway I just took that same bone white shade and I just applied that over top of the concealer just to make sure everything was set down when I did apply the concealer I went a little bit above my crease because I do have slightly hooded eyes and this just helps without like helps it stop from transferring if that makes sense um, and then I just took a little bit of the brown eyeshadow that I used earlier into the crease on a really small brush from Sigma which was the E36 just to make sure that crease area was kind of nicely diffused and then I went back in with the E25 brush and just added a little bit more black to the outer corner just to add a little bit of the depth that was kind of 
taken away by the concealer. I then took my Sigma E54 brush with the shade Queen, which is just like a shimmery purple shade. And I just kind of packed that on like the mid to outer corner of the eye and slightly diffused it inwards. Then taking the shade Medusa, I just used a pencil brush by Sigma. This is the E30. It doesn't really matter too much what you use. I added this just before I put that Queen shade, just to kind of mesh it together um, and just add a little bit of dimension to the eye. As I said, did not plan this look. I just kind of sat down and this is what happened. Um, and then I just took the Kat Von D tattoo liner and I just added a wing and removed that tape. And then for lashes, I applied these Lotus lashes in the style 410. I always get so many compliments when I wear these. They're probably my favorite eyelashes of all time because they're so pretty even without eyeliner. Um, and then with eyeliner, they just look so, so stunning. Then moving on to the face, I'm just taking the Kat Von D Locket Primer. I love this primer so much. As I mentioned in the start of the video, I did do a first impression on a lot of these products. So I will link that down below for you guys so you can check it out. I also sprayed my face today with the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I know it's not a Kat Von D product, but for me, it's a key product to use when I'm working with foundations that are a little bit more drying on my skin um, and that are a little bit harder to blend. Today I mixed the Kat Von D Locket Foundation in the shades 53 and 54. 53 is a little bit too yellow for me and 54 is just a tiny little bit too neutral so I like to mix them to get my perfect colour. But the reason that I use that Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist is because this foundation is a little bit hard to blend, it's a little bit drying on my skin. Um, I feel like it's more aimed for like those of you with oily skin whereas I have quite normal to dry skin. So I like spraying my face with that just to really help everything blend out. It's kind of like an oil in a spray form um, and it just really added a lot of luminosity to my skin and made it so beautiful. And the brush I used was the Sigma F89 brush, which is one of their new strobing and highlighting brushes they came out with. I will leave them all linked down below for you guys. Um, and then I just used a beauty blender just to really push it into my skin and I love this combination so much. Then for concealer, I'm just using the Kat Von D Locket Concealer in the shade L9 and again spraying my brush with that same dewy skin mist just to really make everything blend really beautifully on the skin. I then took the contour shade of these concealers. I can't remember the exact name so I will leave it listed down below for you guys. But I'm just contouring my face with this. I love using warm toned contouring shades or concealers just to like cream contour my face as I feel like it really goes with the undertone of my skin. I have quite warm yellow undertones because I do fake tan so I feel like this is just the most natural looking color for my skin type. And as usual, I'm using my Sigma F05 contour brush. It is my absolute favorite for blending out cream contour products as well as powders. I actually have one that I use for contouring with cream products and then another one that I have for powders. So I have two of these brushes and I absolutely adore them. And the brush I used to blend out my nose contour was the 3D HD Precision Brush from Sigma. I love this for like concealing the inner corners of my eyes and for blending out my nose contour. Just works so well and it really like packs the product on there without pulling off your foundation. I then went in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contouring Palette and I just took the lightest banana yellow type of shade that's in the palette and I applied that underneath my eyes as well as using it to set the center portion of my face. And I then took the middle shade which is like the warmest contour shade in my opinion that works well for my skin tone. Um, and I just used that to set those areas that we contoured earlier with the cream product. So I really like doing this because I feel like it adds a little bit more definition and depth to the face. While also making sure that the contour is not too harsh. I do like my contour to be quite diffused. Yet I do like a lot of darkness to it as well. So I like a lot of contour just not too structured and harsh on the face. I really like it to blend in naturally. Then, because I didn't have a Kat Von D blush, I'm just using Luminoso by Milani, my favorite blush ever, and I do like a ton of blush on my cheeks. You do not need to comment and tell me that I wear too much, because it's my face. And it doesn't matter what I put on my face, because it's not your face. And that also extends to the color of my foundation. A lot of people like to tell me that it's too dark or too yellow, but it matches my neck and it's the color that I like to wear. So let's just leave it at that. Um, because I didn't have a Tarte highlighter, a Tarte highlighter? A Kat Von D highlighter, I used the Tarte one in the shade Exposed. Again, this is my absolute favorite. So it was just natural for me to choose this. Um, I feel like it adds like a really natural dewy look to the skin. 
And then just to set everything down, I use the Kat Von D Locket Powder. So what I'm doing with this powder is the buffing technique, which I originally saw Wayne Goss do. I used to do this all the time. Essentially, you apply this over all of the products that you've placed on your face and really buff them into the skin. And it just makes it look really airbrushed and beautiful. Um, seems really strange, but just try it out for yourself. It does look so stunning. Then just moving back onto the eyes, taking that peachy shade from the Kat Von D shade and light eye contour palette, just buffing that underneath my lower lash line and then I am taking the more maroon ready tone shade from that palette and I'm just essentially doing the same thing. You guys know I'm really relaxed with my lower lash line, I don't really do anything too crazy, I just kind of buff a whole bunch of shades under there and hope it works out. I then took that Blood Milk shade on the E36 by Sigma and just sort of buffed this towards the outer third of the eye. And then I took the Orange Shimmery shade from that Serpentina palette as well and I just applied this on the first quarter of the lower lash line just to add a little bit of shimmer and a little bit of something something. Then to finish off the look with the lips, I'm taking the Gerard Cosmetics Sure Liqu Liquid What? <laughs> Lipstick? Lipstick? What am I saying? Lip pencil. Um, and just aligned my lips with this because I felt it matched the Lolita Kat Von D liquid lipstick so so perfectly um you obviously don't have to line your lips but i just prefer to um and that is basically it for this look so i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and let me know if you would like to see more of these one brand tutorials down below until then i will see you guys in my next video hey guys welcome back to my channel <laughs> why am i yelling why am i yelling a one <laughs> 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 except for two what products for three actually except for three <laughs> <laughs> hey guys welcome why do I always fucking do it hey guys hey hey I always do that fucking head tilt what the fuck am I saying? So far, so I have. What the fuck am I saying? What the f hole? Any Kat Von D blush or highlighter because I don't think she makes them. What the fuck is this the worst interior for my entire life?